We are learning to draw the model soon. Select new from the center to bar. Click the advanced tab and select part mm. In previous video, I mentioned the step to create a part template. From the center toolbar, choose option icon and change the document property to your requirement. Go to far, save as type part template with extension of prt. Give a name. From now on, I'll be using the shortcut command by pressing on the keyboard S key. So this is the S key that you need to press. I also mentioned you could customize the shortcut command and similarly to the head up view, toolbar and any toolbar by dragging the command choose option customize for the s key shortcut you right click the shortcut menu and select customize in this video you will learn the shell command you start from the base feature So let's start from the first sketch. In parametric modeling, the first solid feature is called the base feature, which is the primary shape of the model. Depending upon the upon the design intent, additional features are needed are added to the base feature. So the base feature is is this sketch 50 by 50. I would start the sketch on the front plane and I would like to use center rectangle as I presume that this 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 hole is in the middle. So click front from the from the contextual menu click sketch. Press the S key. We are drawing a center rectangle. S key again. I, I go to dimension. So you can see the cursor showing you the symbol for sketching. Click 50. Click. 50 so extrude 18 mm I, I see the sketch as I extrude boss base of course you can you may change the direction if you like okay extrude uh, a key in 18 okay Okay, the next feature is I want to do a extrude cut by drawing a rectangle. So I select this space. From the contextual menu, I click sketch. I can normal two. The shortcut for normal two is Control X. So I'm going to draw a corner rectangle. As I mentioned it, 11 from this edge to this edge, 11, this edge to this edge, okay, wrong, 
through is, is in the wrong uh, dimension wrongly uh, escape from here okay I got the good the command again sketch click here and click there Eleven. I click here, click there, and make it twenty-two. So the sketch is fully defined. I exit the sketch. I cut key again. I will go extra cut, and I say two. Next, we will do the shell feature. Let's see again. This is the shell key. Extra, uh, uh, no, uh, the shell is here. Shell. Click shell. And the thickness is 2 mm. Thickness 2 mm. So, 2 mm. And then you have to select the face, so I need to select this face to hollow out here and hollow out this face. Okay. So now this model has a wall thickness of 2 mm. That's the purpose of the shell feature. Shell command. Next, we are going to draw a circle and extrude cut. Select this face, sketch, go draw a circle, dimension, twenty seven. See the sketch. Ski extra cut. Okay, this is the right direction. I see through wall. Okay. Next, we have we need to a 1.5 mm fillet. Uh, Ski. So this is the fillet. Make it one point five. Hmm. One point five. Mm. Okay, just select the edge. So the inner edge is deleted one point five mm. Okay. okay, we are going to do the same thing to the bottom face and the top face. So, fillet 1.5. Uh, tangent propagation is checked. Click. Okay, okay. Next, we will do a chamfer. So this chamfer, one mm, forty-five degree. So, so, so this is the chamfer. Quick chamfer. Chamfer type is angle distance, distance 1 mm, 45 degree. Okay, item to chamfer, just click this face. So, okay. So, 
So now we are going to draw the keyhole here on the back face. Click sketch number two. You can use control it. So let me sketch the circle. want to sketch a center rectangle okay now I want to trim so I go to trim so let's remove all this by dragging this line I don't want this line I also don't want this one I don't want this one I don't want this one I don't want so let's dimension dimension the diameter is 7 Radius 7, so uh, now it's in radius mode, uh, diameter 73.5 radius. This portion here is 1.5. The thickness here is 2 mm. So to locate the position of the of, of the keyhole, you click the center point, click here, and chop. So now we want the position here to here, also chop. There's still some blue line on the on the sketches. Okay, maybe we have to align these two edge. Click this one. Click the corner here. Control click this corner and make it vertical. So now the sketch is fully constrained. So we need to do a extrude cut. See the sketch. It's so cut. Any distance will do it as long as it's cut through the wall. Okay, now we can mirror. We can mirror the this cut extrude. To, to the opposite side so we can use key. oh I don't have the mirror command here so put a feature so this is a mirror command I click mirror so about the right plane feature to mirror the cut I showed ok now it's mirror over you can rename the feature in the feature manager tree by clicking click one more time then you can change say I name it keyhook a keyhole so if your model is very complex 
it's just advisable to to name to give a appropriate name to all the feature in the feature manager tree so that when you need to edit the model it is easier so now i i want i, I don't have the the mirror key mirror command inside this shortcut i right click customize so this is my part uh, the, the the shortcut key from the flyout toolbar you choose feature and you notice that this is the mirror command so you look for the mirror command uh, this is the mirror command I click and drag ok so actually this chamfer is, is embedded inside this this command so I can just throw away I don't need this one click ok there you see this the fillet there you can have fillet type ok ok now the model is completed thanks for watching the video